majority of you are trading on Binance, but those in Nigeria, they are having problems doing withdrawals because of the P2P challenges and also people in United States and Canada. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer money from your Binance account to your Bybit account. So if you are in Nigeria, I'll just advise you use Bybit and trade. But some of you have been trading on Binance for about two to three years now. So you really like the platform. So in this video, we'll just go through a step-by-step -step process. If you are new to my channel, my name is Askanda. Make sure you subscribe because I share videos about crypto and everything related to day trading. If you are on Binance too, maybe you have seen me. Make sure you follow me because every day I share my trades with my students and also those who are following me. So if you have any questions at the end of this video, you can let me know in the comment section. So when you are on your Binance app, just click on the wallet section. After clicking on the wallet section, you click on funding wallet. So if I click on funding wallet, okay. So if I click on funding wallet, now I'm going to select, uh, go to Binance here, uh, buy bit. So if I'm buy bit, I'll click on funding. So if I click on funding here, now I'll just click on the deposit bar. So I'll click on deposit here. So click on the deposit. Then you click on crypto. So when you click on crypto, now there are three ways you can deposit. You can either deposit through P2P, which is friend to friend which I don't advise on Bybit. If you are selling on Bybit, it's better, but don't try to trade P2P on Bybit, like to buy it on Bybit. For Binance, you can buy it, but if you are selling on P2P, it's cool. So you can either deposit through P2P, Ghana CDs, or deposit through crypto. So I'll select deposit through crypto. So when I select deposit through crypto, now I'm going to uh select usdt because we are going to be using usdt okay so if i click on usdt i'll just click on the chain so i'm going to use trc20 remember use trc20 so we call it the network which is very important so anytime you are withdrawing money from one platform to another always make sure that when you select usdt it's also trc20 when you are withdrawing because if the network is not good, it's just like going through the wrong path. You will never reach your destination if you are going through the wrong path. So we will click on acknowledge here. So if I click on acknowledge, I'll click on copy. So after clicking on copy, you have seen that I've selected TRC20. Now I'm going to go to my Binance again. So right now I have 21 USDT in my funding wallet on Binance. So what I'll do now is I'll click on the USDT section here or you can just click on the withdraw. You can see we have deposit, withdraw and transfer. So I'll click on the withdraw section. So after clicking on the withdraw, we are going to search for USDT. So just type in search coin. So you type in USDT again. Then you select it. You can see we have $81 now because they have added the money from my funding wallet. That's why. Now we are using address. If you are using Binance user, you can even transfer from Binance to Binance, which is free. Many of you don't know that we have Binance Pay where you can transfer money without any charges. So what I'll do is I'll just click on paste here. Now I'm going to select the same network, which is TRC20. So I select TRC20. Now I'm going to transfer like $20. So I'm transferring $20 to my Bybit account. Or uh, let's say let's just transfer fifty dollars. So if I click on fifty dollars, now I'm just going to click on withdraw here. When I click on withdraw section, now I'm going to confirm. So once you confirm, they will send the money to the Bybit account. But there are some verification that you need to go through. So you can either use your Bybit account, or I'll just click on uh, pass case to. So I just click on here. Then I'll use the authenticator tool and the email. So I'm going to use the authenticator tool and the email here. So let's go and paste it. I have the authenticator on my phone here. So I'm just going to, uh, uh, like, let me just pin it again. I'll open the authenticator. Then I'll enter the number inside. 
so sometimes when you are withdrawing they will ask you for the now let's go with the email too so with the email i'll just check on my gmail account and get the verification so i click on verification okay so when i click on half six three nine four five one okay so within one to five minutes the money will appear in my bybit account so this is how you withdraw money from your binance to bybit so let's say you have been trading on binance and you are in nigeria canada or south africa if you want you can send the usdt to me and i'll send you cash or if you want to you can just transfer the money to your bybit account like i've just showed you so you can follow me on binance square so that you'll be able to receive trading and trading related information so see you in the next video